whether painting an original piece of artwork or customizing a t-shirt, people have this natural desire to create. We value our own creative outcomes because they represent who we are, what makes us different, and what makes us special. And technology is making it easier than ever to fulfill this drive. So across several studies in different contexts, I look at what marketers can do to facilitate different types of creativity and help consumers to really value the, the products that they create. So in a customization context, I find that generally consumers like options. When customizing, we're constrained by the task itself and therefore like flexibility when it comes to what pictures or designs we can use. This becomes even more important when we're trying to create a product to represent who we are. But interestingly, this effect doesn't hold in a less structured creative task. When people are asked to draw a, blank, uh, draw a picture on a blank piece of paper, they're equally happy with their designs, whether given many or few color choices. But when asked to think about who they are and what defines them, they actually prefer a design when given less, not more options. We see this flip at least in part because when given a blank piece of paper, consumers may feel overwhelmed by the potential options. And trying to represent our identity just ups the pressure. This leads us to take whatever easy route comes to mind. But when given fewer options, we're forced off this natural path of least resistance and have to think a little bit harder. This leads to more creative and potentially more valued designs. In this study, we capture self-reported effort and total time taken to support this theory. This research adds to the growing creativity literature and helps to answer the question, when do consumers prefer freedom and when do they actually benefit from boundaries? 